guys, basically welcome to my YouTube channel. Now I'm in Punta Cana and I was nearly getting heart attack one hour ago. Let's start from the beginning. I wish I started earlier to film so you, you could see how I freaked out in here but I was too tired and I was you know so starving when I come here first. When I checked in I just went to Wendy's and you know had hamburger or something. I was just walking around, you know, talking with my friend on the phone. Yeah, I have you know time here so we can talk. I went to the toilet, I was just putting you know makeup on, just walking around, literally doing nothing. And for the first time I when I realized I went to you know exchange my money to US dollar to my pesos and I hear the announcement. Last call for Istanbul. That's it, that was for me, literally, I freaked out, I lost my literally shit. Ron Awa to that, I was like, please help me, I missed my flight. Please help me, please help me, please help me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have another flight to Istanbul, probably my suitcase, I'm going to Panama right now. And I was just literally talking, and she looked at me and said, no, I'm like this. And I was like, no, I am really forget this part now. And I'm going to explain the whole things to her. But thanks God she had me, she really had me out. And I, after that I find out, when I came here first time, 8 o'clock, I checked in like 10. I asked someone, can I check in early because my flight is 3 p.m. And he was like, and he was like, yeah, of course you can do it. And the, the woman who is working on the desk, she told me, she was speaking literally, for, you know, Spanish. And I just understand basic stuff, but like, you know, where are you going, where's your passport, blah, 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 this kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she gave me to, uh, the ticket, but it's my mistake also, I didn't check the time, it was saying 11 morning, and I didn't check because I knew already my flight was 3, right, so she explained to me, I put you on an early flight, why did you do that, no one asked you, first of all, and why not speak in English, because you're working at the airport, uh, I think it doesn't matter where you, which country you are, you have to speak English if you're working at the airport, so she, in, in, her, in her head, she's explained to me everything in Spanish, and in my head, she just explained to me, you know, general stuff and I was like yeah, yeah, yeah okay 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 and I get my ticket and when I realized my actual flight is 3 p.m. because I was just explaining to them I missed my flight maybe you know you can put me another flight please do that because I have another flight nah, nah, nah. and I checked my you know I was going to show them my ticket and I was like here's my ticket and I was like wait a minute my flight is 3 p.m. why she give me early flight and they're like oh okay okay sorry misunderstanding she explained to you right he asked me I was like yeah but Spanish she explained to me in Spanish, so I don't know Spanish, so... And I told her, I don't know Spanish, I don't understand you. And he's like, oh, it's her fault, sorry, people in here, they don't speak English so much. And I was like, yeah, but it's the airport, you know, you should explain to people. <sighs> Fuck. And also, i really, really scared because when I was here last time, I missed my flight to Istanbul. So it happened to me here before. So when I heard the announcement last minute for Istanbul, I was like, no, not again. No, I can't miss my flight again in Dominican Republic, in same place. I can't do this again. again because last time when I was here, I, one of my best friends, was she was getting married, and that's why I was flying to Istanbul. Actually, I was going to stay one more month, but when I missed my flight, I booked another flight for next day, and it was a horrible, horrible flight, because I had to fly to... Panama from Dominican Republic to Paris and wait there like nine hours and I stay also one night in Panama and flew to uh, Paris and wait there like nine hours something like this and after that I flew to Istanbul once I was in Istanbul I was literally just you know <laughs> finished and the other day I went to wedding the funny thing is I was really too jet lag at the wedding I, I really literally if you ask me I don't remember anything about wedding I have pictures but my all eyes like you know, like shock because I couldn't sleep at all and I was so stressful to miss my flight. That's why I scared and panic a lot because it happened to me in the same place. <laughs> I also overstayed in here like three days, so I paid like 3,500 Dominican peso, which is 60 US dollars. Yeah. If you come here and stay over, then your visa, arrival visa, I mean, you. you you're gonna pay. So it happened to me in Ecuador, but it was Corona time, so I, I, I didn't miss my flight that time. I <laughs> just they cancelled my flight, and they didn't tell me even. They didn't uh, email me for we cancel your flight. And I learned when I got went to airport. I have really lots of horrible stories about airports. She told me officer in Ecuador. She told me he always stay like two days your visa is finished and I had a you know, three month visa something like this and I said it's a corona time and they cancelled my flight so 
I couldn't go. I'm sorry, one month. Yeah, one month. She said, you always stay like one month. You didn't you leave the country. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but they canceled my flight and it's Corona time and I couldn't go. It's not my fault. And she's like, you have to pay like $200 or you have the option to not pay, pay but you're going to ban from Ecuador two years. So Ecuador banned me for two years. I need to check in right now. Otherwise, I don't want to, I don't want to miss another flight. See ya. Hola, amiga. Hola. Hola. Gracias, viaje. Hola. 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 Finally, I'm in Panama after all the drama this morning. My flight delayed, it's like 7 p.m. right now, and my flight like 10.30. So I have like three hour and a half. So actually, I was going to say this morning, but too many things happened today. It was my birthday yesterday, and I'm 20, 28. My Canadian friends took me to Turkish restaurant, and my birthday cake was baklava. <laughs> so funny enough. Normally, I've been many times in a Turkish restaurant in Apple, but they were horrible. But this one was really great because the chef was Turkish. My Canadian friends really like it too. I'm so surprised how the, these many years passed by so quickly. I, I feel like yesterday I was just 20. When I was younger, like 15 years old I thought 28 is a big age you know because I'm going to have a married and I'm gonna have kids and now I'm at Panama airport waiting my flight to Istanbul I love traveling sometimes it gives you so much headache like this morning but you know what it's really amazing funny enough I fly many times to Panama airport but I never visit Panama actually I would love to one day especially to uh, Boca del Toro I really would love to if you have chance to travel you should definitely travel really I I would love to do this rest of my life but after for a while for me it's been four years and I think I think it will settle down I think I need home for a while and I'm flying to Istanbul and see my family and my friends for a while I really miss them I've been away for like three months I was in Lima Peru for like one month one and a half months I experienced you know city life in Lima and after that I flew to Dominican Republic for one month yeah it was a really good journey and probably I'll go back to Asia again <laughs> I really miss Asia, especially Thailand, my happy place. I'll be here like four hours and after that I have 13 hours flight to Istanbul. Probably when I land in Istanbul I'm going to be like... I hate airports. Literally. Hate it. Sorry. Probably it's like pig meat. Normally I don't eat it, but I'm really hungry right now, so I don't have so much options around. This window seats. Yay! <laughs> so happy now. I was so scared to ask her, can I get window seat? Because I didn't think about this even. But I'm so happy now. Window seat. Please, I can sleep. 